And those life rings will deploy automatically if we need them. You are looking fabulous in your hats, folks. Remember to take your hard hat selfies. We strongly recommend that you keep them on. I appreciate they do fall off, so try to hang on to them when you're looking around. If anything falls in the boat, to pick it back up. If anything lands in the water, make no attempt to retrieve it. So that's your personal items as well, guys. You can take photos, but photos can be Oh, it's dripping. You also be joining my collection of about six phones. Oh, no. The other fishing Dudley are super healthy. Phones, cameras, glasses. Last year someone lost a set of Nashers. So they've really uh, got it good at the minute. <laughs> we're, uh, we're a big boat and a little tunnel. Keep our body parts inside at all times, folks. It's really important. The crocodiles are starving at this time of year. With <laughs> 90 feet below, there's a massive set of caverns and tunnels, but they're all abandoned. They're filled with water, you know, the rainwater comes down in Dudley, it doesn't take long to fill those caverns up. The last people to venture down them were cave divers. Mm. Right, we'll give the uh, hooter a little tooter at the front of the boat, touch your ears, here we go. Now we go to Castle Mill, this is a stunning area, Castle Mill Basin is, supports all sorts of wildlife. It's quite bare at the moment, but we're we'll soon be getting all the leaves back on the trees, but we do see that the ducklings have started coming up now. We have uh, kingfishers, wagtails, we see buzzards, owls early on in the morning, and the, uh, the, the canal is full of fish as well, but it's a beautiful area this is. And we're surrounded by bare limestone, which has had plenty uses over the years. Um, limestone's been used in building and construction like Dudley Castle Lime. Mortar was like concrete of the day, used to glue the bricks in our tunnel together. It's been used to make paint, used in the cosmetics industry. You heard of being in the limelight? It was used, used in the early oh. forms of projectors and uh, burnt on stage in stage lighting as well. But the Earl of Dudley used it as a flux. So in the metal making process, he threw limestone in the furnaces on top of the coal. It acted like a big sponge, absorbing all the impurities. And later on, he'd have a better quality iron and steel. It was a higher grade. He could sell it for more money. Mm -hmm. We've got Boot George there, that's the continuation of the Dudley Tunnel. If you just compare the two tunnels up at the front, the one on the left clearly looks newer, yeah? So the Dudley Tunnel carries on all the way through there, but we're going to branch off head through this newer one. Hello there, folks! Hello! Can you pretend you're having a Look at this one. Cool, didn't it? Right, so you can tell this tunnel's newer guys, we've got no brickwork in here. Uh, when it was done we decided to shockcrete it, to spray it with a very skinny layer of cement and that's what you can see. It's only just over 30 years old and we've already got white deposits of calcite, a few stalactites on the roof that have already worked their way. Oh wow. It's Limestone was quarried here on Dudley Castle Hill for hundreds of years, but the arrival of the canal prompted a rapid increase in mining activity, and at its peak, the Dudley Mines produced over 100,000 tonnes of limestone a year. The extraction of the stone left behind a network of vast caverns, which became an attraction for scientists, engineers, and visiting dignitaries from abroad. The Dudley Caverns have also played an important role in the development of the science of geology and became renowned internationally for the quality and diversity of the fossils that have been discovered here. In 1849, addressing a meeting of scientists here in the Dudley Mines, the eminent geologist Sir Roderick Murchison proclaimed that in no part of England are more geological features brought together in a small compass in the environs of Dudley. In the 1850s, the caverns were open to the public. Gas lighting was installed, paths laid out, and a band stand constructed. Many fates and concerts were held in these mines, with entertainment provided by orchestras, choirs, and military bands. Colored players were ignited, and demonstrations of blasting carried on. 
very diamond. Those events were perhaps the forerunner of today's classical spectacular concerts. And although some of the mines were accessible from the service, many visitors came by canal boat, just as you have today. Yes, now the tunnel takes you to Matalan and McDonald's instead. <laughs> <laughs>